Hi there, welcome to the fifth and last part of making the RC Banshee. Today we are testing it in the waters and I have some final conclusions. So let's get started. Before I'm showing you some of the footage I created while testing the Banshee, I would like to thank Stulen for creating this awesome model. It has been really fun to print this one and yeah, it's just awesome. Also thanks to Daniel and Ray for creating the original Banshee. So now let's have a look at some of the footage I made and after that I'm back.
Okay, so a few final things before we are ending this series. As I said, it is a really nice model and I think it has been greatly designed. Um, it's very easy to print, it takes a few hours, but yeah, that's logical with such a large model. Um, what I've learned is that I needed to be more patient in most cases. I learned it with gluing it together, with painting it, everything. In general, I think it came out really nice and it works really nice as you can see as well. Uh, there are still a few things I want to fix. Uh, that's a slight problem with uh, steering to the right and left. Uh, I think it has a small deviation to the left and that's causing some problems. Another thing I noticed while trying it out is that it's going fast in some cases and probably sometimes too fast and that doesn't help in keeping it stable. I also think I need to be at a bit more of the lead because it's not completely stable. But it also depends on how the Epco battery is positioned within the boat. Um, another thing I have noticed is that the electronics I made in the very first episode is not perfect. It has some problems actually working in some cases and that causes a bit of disturbance. But I think in general that came out great as well. In the future I will do some modifications probably, but for now I think this is a really great model. I have only tested it in a very small water and I would like to test it in a tiny bit bigger, but that for some other eyes. For now I think I'm going to end this series. Again I would like to uh, thanks Tulen for making the model. Um, I also would like to thank 3D Meetup Sweden because if it wasn't there I never would have made this model. But now if I'm going next year to 3D Meetup Sweden I probably will take this with me so hopefully see you there. This is it for now. I would like to thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye. So, thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And please like this video, it helps the channel a lot. If you want to watch another video, please click here.